Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Film Geek here, and I just went to Redbox. There we go, Redbox, and rented Planet Hulk. This is based off of the uh, comic book miniseries Planet Hulk, where the Incredible Hulk gets sent to another planet um, when uh, some of the heroes of Earth, including Iron Man, Fan uh, Mr. Fantastic, uh, Doctor Strange and some others uh, think that he's too much of a threat to remain on Earth. So they send him out to another planet. Um, their intent is for him to land on a uh, deserted planet where he can just be alone and not have to worry about hurting anybody. But the Hulk gets mad while on the spaceship. He kind of destroys stuff. Course kind of goes off and uh, he lands on uh, the planet of Sakar, um, where he ends up being forced to be a gladiator. Um, the the comic books, I'm a huge fan of the comic book miniseries. I thought it was one of, if not the best, miniseries uh, I've, I've ever read, really, um, in, in the comic book world. And I was definitely looking forward to it. When, it, when they announced there was going to be a Planet Hulk movie, I was pretty geeked. I was ready to have a joygasm. And watching the trailer um, for this movie a couple months ago, I, I totally had a joygasm. Um, but then I saw the movie. Then I just watched it. I just finished watching it. It was good, but as a fan uh, of the miniseries, I was a little disappointed. They changed some stuff. Um, they didn't do the complete miniseries. They kind of, it kind of ends a little early, um, which kind of annoyed me because there was some really sweet stuff near the end of the miniseries that I would have loved to see in this movie. Um, I think they basically, they would have added like just an extra even 45 minutes. They could have finished covering the rest of it. For some reason they didn't. Uh, and that kind of bugged me. Um, some of the changes that they made in, in the movie were good pretty good. They help move stuff along a little bit faster, and I could totally understand why they did it. Um, you know, to, to, to make it, basically just cut down on time because it's a pretty pretty lengthy miniseries. However, some of the changes felt completely ridiculous as to why they did it. And I'm sure they did it for, like, licensing reasons, um, but... <sighs> okay, so Spoiler alert! Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. If you don't want to hear a spoiler, skip ahead about 20 seconds. In the miniseries, uh, they have to end up, or Hulk has to end up fighting the Silver Savage, which is, of course, a, uh, a Silver Surfer. It's the Silver Surfer in um, Sakaar outfit and being a gladiator. For some reason, in this movie, they changed it from being the Silver Surfer to being Beta Ray Bill. And welcome back, if you skip past my spoiler. So, long story short, the movie looks great. It's it's an awesome looking animation. But they, the changes that they made in it kind of annoyed me as a fanboy. Um, if you have never read the series, you won't know the changes that they made. So you'll think that this is a pretty awesome uh, animated film. There are some sweet fights in this movie. Um, albeit a little short ended, but it's the Hulk. Name one fight the Hulk's ever been in besides fighting Wolverine that's actually gone the distance. Um, but I'm biased. My review is going to be uh, kind of on the low end for this movie because I'm a fan of the series and because of that, that fandom. I have to give Planet Hulk about a three out of five. It's better than average. It's still good. Don't get me wrong. It's not like I hated the movie. I thought it was a good movie. It's just that since I know the source material, some of the changes they made pissed me off. Okay, so if I had never read the series, I'd probably give this a four out of five. But I've read the series. I don't like the changes. I give it a three out of five. Now I'm kind of rambling. We're going to end this right now because I'm just saying the same stuff over and over again.